We're gonna have Bob come up on stage and give him a big round of applause, Bob Snodgrass. Give it up for Emerald Cup. Woo! So, raising the bar is about this award and what I'm passing on, and I want to pass this on to somebody I believe raised the bar on both the glass blowing and the glass. It interacted with the people, and people became like. That pipe's cool that you're smoking over there. It's so cool, I think I want to smoke one too. And I think even in places like China where they're making glass that a lot of times is inferior, those people are going to become curious and they're going to want to smoke pot too. And I'm hoping this helps make cannabis move around the world. The more pipes you see, well, the more pot you got to smoke. So the man that I believe raised the bar on the glass blowing movement, something I didn't perceive as happening, I thought it would catch on, but never, never to this degree. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. So anyhow, no more said. I'd like to bring on Marble Slinger. He was the man that put together, most of you know, the art degenerate art of glass pipes and that spread and moved this movement to not just a few thousand people but millions and it went around the world and thank you very much Aaron is this wow um, first of all, thank you, Bob. He's like a mentor to me, an idol. Um, I've been smoking weed since I was like 15 years old, and I'm 45 now, so it's been a part of my life for most of my life. And, you know, when I first started, obviously, it was illegal and um, just considered a drug. And um, early on, I realized that it was more than that, that it was definitely medicine. Um, and um, eventually, I'm, I'm someone who's really into art, and, and um, Eventually I found glass pipe making and um, being really into weed and being really into art, I got into making glass pipes. And I always saw glass pipes as kind of an artistic aspect of cannabis culture in that, you know, cannabis culture has been demonized by the man powers that be in the government and like beautiful pipes are something that express a consciousness that exists with smoking weed beyond it just being a drug. You know, um, the herb, herb is a sacrament and the pipe is the sacred altar to place it on. So I really appreciate y'all. I'm very inspired by cannabis. I've been inspired by it my whole life. I always knew I'd be a part of this culture one way or another. Please support American glass pipe makers because we work really hard. We're one of the last like, type of craft movements that exists in the United States. And that's in part to you. You know, for all you guys who buy a glass pipe, you're really supporting families. And um, I, I gotta again thank Bob Snodgrass for being for being the godfather of this scene. Without him, I wouldn't exist. And so uh, I appreciate this. This event is amazing. Thank you for having me. I'd like you to take a look at the bottom right here. There's one million in there, and it's a pot leaf. Yeah. yeah. There's a little green spot in there. And they'll take a zoom up picture somewhere and. You'll see it. It'll be on Facebook or somewhere, or Instagram. Love you all. Thank you. Emerald Cup.